Let's make a viral video, guys. Today we're talking about left foot braking. So this is definitely more a more advanced technique. It's not a tandem only technique, believe it or not. A lot of people think uh, you do start learning it kind of once you start doing tandem driving, but it's also really important for adjusting your line, slowing yourself down because you're hitting the brakes, um, and holding a line as well. So especially like if you're on a bank or something like that, um, you really need to be left foot braking to kind of hold the car up there. But we're gonna start with the basics because this is a really great tool for a lot of different things. And so we're gonna start with just doing donuts and kind of learning how to break with your left foot because it is really, really, really weird. So let's start with that and then we'll probably take it to some bigger corners and show you guys how you can kind of adjust your line by left foot braking and hold the line and then kind of talk a little bit about tandem driving. Let's do it. So with a lot of these techniques, I like trying to learn kind of the mechanics with the car off and just stop somewhere. This is something you can even do in your garage, which I always say, but truly, you can go practice these things. So one of the big things is getting a feel for braking with your left foot because it's not something that you would ever do unless you were left foot braking, truly. I mean, think about driving a normal car, you learn to brake with your right foot, gas with the right foot, and move it over. But now, you're still using your right foot for throttle and you're actually bringing your left foot over and braking with your left foot. So, when you initially do it, <laughs> I promise you, <laughs> you're gonna slam on the brakes and you're gonna go flying forward. It just always happens because you're not used to the, like, the feel needed. Um, clutch, especially if you're used to like a heavier clutch, you're used to really pressing that in and you're gonna do the same thing on the brakes and it's just gonna go all wonky. Just kind of practice that like movement of like foot over and then kind of touching the brakes and just start going like way lighter you know, as light as you can go, you know, just like barely depress it and start kind of getting a feel for it. And so once you kind of feel like you have that down, then let's go try some donuts and actually do it with the car moving, which is again, a different game. Cause once it's on, you have the brake booster going and et cetera, et cetera. So, but really good, just practice it with the car off, get kind of a feel for how it feels on your left foot. So if you guys saw in the donuts, every time I would left foot brake, it would actually kind of pull me in closer and I could almost hold a higher angle line towards the cone. And then if you notice when I let off the brake, I kind of start falling off and straightening out a little bit and then kind of flowing outward. Same throttle input. So that's kind of where it gets interesting having a balance of left foot brake and throttle um, and being able to kind of adjust your line, adjust your angle. And it does slow you down some, but not that drastically when you're just barely on it. And it makes a big difference. If you think about it, I think brakes are what, like 60, 40 generally? Jamo, do you know? Uh, pretty close, yeah. Yeah, generally it's like 60% braking force in the front, 40 in the rear. Um, you're overcoming most of that braking force anyways because you're throttling down. Uh, but it really, because you're braking the front wheels, you're actually able to adjust the car and kind of slow it down, add angle and do those things. So uh, once you kind of feel like you have the movement down and you're not slamming yourself into the steering wheel, uh, now you can kind of start working on what it can really be used for. One big one is on entries. So if you do like a big fat entry, rather than having to rip the handbrake, you can just kind of hit the left foot brake a little bit and actually slow yourself down and even add on angle. One kind of uh, pro tip or whatever you want to call it, if you do hit the brakes pretty hard when you're like already almost reverse, a lot of times it will spin you out. So it's a real like kind of light brake, but it'll slow you down and you can kind of drag it as you're entering in. 
The other one that's really cool that you can do is let's say uh, you want to get kind of tighter on this corner and you're way out here. You can kind of start left foot braking, add a little bit of angle and kind of pull yourself into the apex of the corner and get yourself on like that faster line and set yourself for coming up out of it. It's like one of the best tools and honestly it's, it's something that I'm still learning kind of what I can do with it and getting it dialed in. So you guys will be working on it forever. I would say out of like all the things like learning to handbrake, learning to clutch kick, faint entry, I feel like left foot brake is one of the ones that you just continually find more uses for it and you get better and better at it. Let's go show you guys kind of what the entries look like and adjusting line. So guys, like any of these techniques, be patient with yourself. This stuff takes a while. You're not gonna figure it out like today. Chill out, figure it out. It's, it's, it's drifting, right? We're having fun. Also, side note for my virtual drifters, this is a great technique, especially because you're gonna start tandeming faster online than you will in real, in real life. Learn left foot braking. This definitely will help you guys, and the mechanics are the exact same, especially in a set of Corsa uh, or some of those higher end simulators. But that's pretty much it, guys. Like, just go out and practice this thing. Check out all our other how to drift videos. Uh, we go over clutch kicking, faint entries, all sorts of cool techniques, everything from beginner to intermediate and even advanced. And uh, of course, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.